Idaho now has the term critical race theory in its statutes. Governor Brad Little signing House Bill 377 into law yesterday. The bill that Senator Carl Crabtree called a preventative measure from allowing critical race theory making its way into Idaho classrooms. I guess we're the first state to do so. And it's not supposed to tell teachers what to teach. Rather, it's supposed to prevent schools and educators from making any student feel they are superior or inferior to any other gender, race, ethnicity, religion, color, or national origin. Nor are they to blame for any past actions attributed to those groups. However, state and district superintendents, all the teachers, parents, and students that we've spoken with say this isn't a thing in Idaho. Even the governor standing alongside the State Board of Education said any tips that they had received saying it was turned into dead ends. But in a letter explaining why he signed it into law, Governor Brad Little dedicated one sentence to supporting House Bill 377 and six paragraphs saying why he doesn't. I agree that Idaho public schools and higher education institutions should adhere to the principles of equality, freedom of expression and respect for all, he wrote. However, the claim that there is widespread systematic indoctrination occurring in Idaho classrooms is a serious allegation. Most worryingly, it undermines public support for public education in Idaho. We must be focused on facts and data, not anecdotes and innuendo. He added that the process or that produced this legislation over the past few weeks sends the wrong message to Idaho teachers, parents and students. It has been nothing short of a distraction from meeting our constitutional and moral obligations to public education in Idaho. They actually were reading this letter on the House floor today until some lawmakers took offense to it. Representative Heather Scott, with just one sentence left in the letter, stood to ask Speaker Scott Bedke for a motion to stop reading the letter. It's not our job, it's not his job, the man on the second floor's job to write law, that's our job. He's supposed to implement that, and, and I'm tired of getting lectures um, from this man on the second floor every time we try to pass policy. We don't need um, his opinion on every single bill we pass, and I, frankly, I'm just tired of hearing it. So for that, I'm asking you to, to vote um, yes to, to dispense with the reading of this. Okay, so that motion failed by a lot. The reading would continue. Aside from these concerns, I am hopeful we can emerge stronger and more committed than ever to public education. Sincerely, Brad Little, Governor of Idaho. And there it is. Still, one sentence in that whole letter saying it's a good bill, six paragraphs expressing why it isn't. It's still worth a signature, I guess. This session, of the nearly 270 bills signed into law, there have been just 14 transmittal letters, which is what that was, that were written and signed by the governor. Of those, three were vetoes.